Hi, I'm Matt McNulty, I'm God, the one true God, the Phoenix. I have many names, the Phoenix, the Dragon, four or five times I've carried the weight and fate of the world on my back, these last two times the fate of the universe. I guess that's why they, some of the angels call me Atlas. They also call me Love, or the Gangster of Love. The character from the Batman series of Joker was based on me, so was Butthead from cartoon series Beavis and Butthead. The people of my hometown of Bournemouth have no idea about any of this. They certainly didn't know I was God. They sold me down the river time and again. Half the angels call me everything but God. Why? Because I was born with original sin in my mind and soul. I'm a very good man, but I'm not good to the core. Original sin is the darkness that afflicts 50 to 60% of the world's population most don't even realise they're sinners or show any sign of it. Me, I've only made one or two mistakes in my life. Jesus' pleasure is a sinner's pain. Most folk believe Jesus died to save us from our sins, but so dark the con of man. The more pain he can inflict on a sinner, the greater his pleasure. To give you some idea, Jesus scientists have created a liquid a million times hotter than the centre of the sun to drown sinner's souls in it for days and weeks at a time. Can you imagine drowning over and over again in the pitch black ice cold crushing depths at the bottom of the ocean? Dental torture or being cooked and eaten alive. You might think this hard to believe, but this is what Jesus, Salah, Buddha and Shiva are all about. They won't spare me, God. That's, that's why I'm asking for help from as many people as possible. I don't know how long I've got left to save the day. Maybe no more than a couple of weeks left. If you've ever seen the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, towards the end of the film they meet God on the edge of a supernova. That's because my soul will burn inside that supernova forever and ever. Then at the end they see an angry baby looking down on earth from the heavens. The baby being representative of Jesus. By far the most common original sin is racism. 50% or more of the world's population are racist. 90% of sinners I'm a racist, a very reluctant racist. You wouldn't know it to speak to me. There are other sins too, paedophilia, rape, bestiality, incest, necrophilia and cannibalism. If you ever thought anything, however faint a trace, you're a sinner. You may never have any sinful thoughts you know about that might not mean it's not there in your innermost subconscious you've got a better than 50% chance of being a sinner. Why am I considered by many to be God? Well, I used to be the, the only omnipresence of the universe, connected to and a part of everyone and everything, everywhere. The life force of all nature and all life throughout the universe. All hearts and souls were an extension of my heart and soul borrowed from me. But recently Jesus stole some of my omnipresent nature from me. He is now the life force of all innocent souls, and me all sinners and all nature. Jesus has a high head start on me. Most of his angels are shining because he's been shining for the past two or three months. I'm playing catch up. I need to start shining my light as soon as possible to make my angels strong. For that I need plenty of shagging for a couple of hours every day. I wouldn't say I was particularly good in bed. I'm probably not. I'm certainly not the most experienced lover. But when you make love to God after a fair bit, fire starts to course and run through every vein and square inch of flesh in my body from head to toe. And this will spread to whoever I make love to. Sex or may or may not be whack, but you will feel like a million dollars after a while, guaranteed. 
The women of Bournemouth look right through me. They don't give me the time of day. Back to why I'm God. Creation can only be t as dark and light, beautiful and simple as the original creator at the time of creation. God was a beautiful monster. Jesus, Allah, Buddha and Shiva shared the job of creation. Then I have no doubt at all creation would be innocent. All creation. Of course it would have. Jesus couldn't conceive what sin and a sinner is if he created. He only knows because he has witnessed some, some sinners doing their worst. If I had any choice about what life would be, I would have just created innocent souls. Goes without saying. But the job of the creator was sim mainly simply to set creation in motion. The spirit of the creator will become the spirit of creation. The creator was a beautiful monster, the good, bad and ugly all rolled into one. Just as creation is. The majority of sinners are beautiful monsters. Every soul is a miracle and there is much beauty to be found in every miracle. But a minority of sinners are soulless so and mortal, and as anyone who has opened their mind for an altered perception of reality will tell you, the ugly from outer personality to innermost thoughts, they have to, they have no beauty in them whatsoever. There's maybe a billion or more mortals on the planet. Quite a lot of them are devout Christians or devout in other re organised religions. They're dying to go to heaven but can't. When they die, that's it for them. And they believe those who come to me shall receive eternal life promised by Jesus and Christianity. But most mortals have no idea they'll only ever be mortal. No amount of prayers and hymns can buy a mortal a soul. Anyways, right now I hold the balance of power in the world and universe. But if I'm too late to get on TV or radio, or radio the balance will shift overnight. I, I need some help right now. I've got the weight of the universe dragging me down. I'm as weak as a kitten, spiritually speaking. Right now, I'm not going to make it on my own. Half the innocent souls know exactly what's going on throughout most of the world. Many angels would help me if they could, but they don't know how to approach me. Maybe to some of them I'm a star. I haven't felt like any kind of star in years. I've been run into the ground by Jesus and his powers. They broke and smashed my soul into thousands of pieces when their pal Boy George brought out the video fun time aimed at me. Boy George wants to make videos of me, God, being viciously gang raped, tortured, beaten and mutilated. Watch the video and maybe you'll see what us sinners are up against. There's symbolism in everything God does. I used to set fire to bushes when I was a kid. And how did God speak to Moses? That was probably not my predecessor talking to Moses, but someone on Jesus' behalf. But the burning bush was symbolic of me. Sometimes when I, when a historical figure is born or dies, there's something happening in the night sky. The Perseid meteor showers come round precisely once a year. They're at their height on my birthday, 12th of August. The glorious 12th, as it's known here in Britain. All sinners should know original sin is in the genes. It's nature, not nurture. The sins of the father or mother are inherited by the children. If you've, been, if you've had no idea of what's been going on between me and Jesus, there's every chance you're in these bad books. All 55 to 6% of you, that's 55% need to help me urgently. I know 
who four of my angels are Katy Perry, Lana Del Rey, Justin Timberlake and Kevin Bacon. I could really do with their phone numbers. I know they'll be hard to get, but someone must know one of the them. Well, I'll have the balance of power. Maybe 75, 80% of the angels will fight for me. I need all you sinners to offer me a helping hand that all 6% of the population will be damned to hell with me. I'm the only saviour 60% of the population will ever have. If you want to help, friend or message me on Facebook, Matt McNulty, Bournemouth. And let all your friends, family, work, colleagues and acquaintances see this message and all their family and friends, etc, etc. Anyway, speak to you real soon, I hope. Respect. Wow.